Cornerstone! <laughs> I said that really weird, but it's okay. I wanna talk to you guys about faith and about what you are believing. God told me this a while back when I was praying about fear. He said that fear is the tangible substance that the devil uses, just like faith is the tangible substance that God uses. And so you could say it like this, fear and faith are the same in this respect. They both pull from different realities to make things manifest in your life. So if you're afraid that you're gonna be sick and you're constantly fretting about it and you constantly have anxiety about it, you're constantly stressing about it and you're afraid and you're fearful, guess what? you're doing. You are pulling that sickness into your life. The Bible says that God has dealt to every man the measure of faith. That means you have the ability to believe in God's promises and you don't have to operate by fear because you can operate by faith. If you believe in the Word of God, remember what God, uh, what Jesus said. He said, let it be done according to your faith. And so Jesus has shown us something important. He, he, we know he had faith without measure, but you have the same faith that Jesus had. You can believe in the promises just like he believed in his father, just like he believed in the word of God. And he said, when you believe what you believe, that's gonna happen. And so fear is faith in the devil's kingdom. Ah, do y'all get that? And faith is faith in God's kingdom. And whichever one you are following and whichever one you're seeking after, you are pulling the realities of those kingdoms into your life. I'm not trying to make this confusing. It's actually really simple. You have to decide, and Pastor Mark talked about it on Sunday morning. You have to decide, am I gonna use faith? Am I gonna follow faith? Am I gonna believe in God and his word and his promises? Or am I gonna use fear? And I'm gonna, am I gonna listen to the devil? and the things that he's saying about my life. I'm gonna lose my job. I'm not gonna have enough money to pay my bills. I'm gonna get sick. My children are gonna walk away from the Lord. All that is fear, and when you get in fear, you end up pulling those realities into your life. I wanna read this scripture to you, very familiar scripture, we all know it, over here in Mark 11:23. 23. And then Jesus said to his disciples, have faith in God. Now, why is this so important? Because it takes faith. The Bible says the just shall live by faith. Not live by fear, but the just shall live by faith. And Jesus is telling us this because he wants us to pull the realities of heaven into our life. The realities of heaven's economy into your life. The realities of heaven's peace into your life. The realities of heaven's joy into your life. And it takes faith to do it. So he says, don't fear, but have faith in God. I assure you that you can say to this mountain, May God be lifted up and thrown into the sea, and your command will be obeyed. And that all that's required is that you really believe and do not doubt in your heart. Listen to me, for you can pray for anything, and if you believe, you will have it. We already said it, but I want to remind you of the words of Jesus. Let it be done according to your faith. Or you can say it this way. It will be done according to what you believe. Are you believing in fear? Or are you believing in God's word? Are you operating in faith or are you operating in fear? We always know that faith is greater than fear, but it's up to you. Where does fear come from? It comes from the devil. And the Bible says in James, resist the devil and he will flee from you. Resist the devil, submit to God, and he will flee from you. So you have to resist fear. It tries to come to all of us and it tries to get on all of us and you have to constantly resist it, hold up the shield of faith like the book of Ephesians 6 talks about and stand against the wily darts and fiery darts of the devil. And when you do that, you will see the promises of God. One final thing before you go, you have faith on the inside of you right now. And the faith that's living on the inside of you is greater than fear. So let that faith in God's word, let that confidence in all the promises he said, push fear out of your life so you can receive the realities of heaven. We love you guys so much. We're praying for you all the time. I pray that you're strengthened in your faith and that you know right now in this moment that every promise that has been spoken by Jesus Christ and been purchased by Jesus Christ will manifest in your life as you believe and trust in him. We love you so much. We'll see you next time.